do you remember what this face looks like? How are you all? It has been such a long time since I've picked up this camera and vlogged. I have loads of footage from when I went to Brighton. I'm trying to decide whether to put it into this or whether to do like my own little, my own little, like a separate little video basically of my weekend with Pippa in Brighton. I haven't decided yet. So it might be in here, it might not be. But I feel like it's time to start talking to you guys again. I'm still getting messages asking where I am. I just really needed to settle in, like work had been kind of in, not intense, but it's definitely a change from what I'm used to. So I kind of wanted to settle into that, get to know the team, let the team get to know me and just kind of, how cheesy, but kind of find myself here because it's so different to what I'm used to. But I think it's time to be back. It might not be every week that I have a vlog up, but there will be vlogs. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll put it somewhere here. Go and follow me on Twitter because that is where you will find out if there is going to be a vlog that week or if not, that I will update on there. But I have had a day of adulting. It's Monday today. It's Monday the 20... No? I have no idea. The 18th, not the 20th yet. I've had a day of adulting. I've done lots of washing. It's everywhere. Bedding, new bedding. I popped into Westfields, Stratford Westfields, did a bit of shopping. That's partly why I've picked up the camera now because I thought I would show you what I've got. I'm also waiting for an ASOS parcel to arrive. That's meant to be here between five to four and five to five, so it'll probably turn up at five to five because that's just what it's like. John is delivering my parcel. That's exciting. I've got a cup of tea ready and I also, like Wednesday, we have got some caramel nibbles because I need chocolate. And I'm going to start Grey's Anatomy because so many people I know watch it. Um, and I wanted a new box set, so starting Grey's Anatomy from season one, episode one. But let's have a look and I'll show you what I picked up. Okay, I've just sat you on the fireplace. I think you can see me enough. Not that I'm trying things on, but anyway. So first of all, I had... I got a top shop and an ASOS voucher from my mum for my birthday. I spent my ASOS voucher, that is the parcel that should be hopefully arriving soon. And then I spent my top shop voucher today. That's not, that's my scarf, you've all seen that. Uh, I picked up this jumper. I'm kind of in love. It's really different to what I've gone for before. Like it's a cropped, it's not cropped. It's a shorter jumper so it sits like on your waistline. It's so flattering. I used to hate it, but now I've got some really nice fitting jeans and I found like my style of jean, if that makes sense. I feel like there's so many more options for me to wear now. So I picked this up. Let's come close so you can see. It's got beautiful flower embroidery on it. Um, it kind of, I sent a picture to the girls of me wearing it and Laurel was like, put, hit the nail on the head. It's like granny chic. It's got like, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see properly. But whenever I see this sort of detailing, I always think of like a grandma card again. Um, but it's got uh, like a puff sleeve and a tight cuff. And it's just super, super flattering. Perfect for autumn, winter. Embroidery is going to be so in this year. Um, so I thought I'd pick that up. It was £39. And then, like I said, I had Topshop voucher. So it didn't cost me that. Thank goodness, because I wouldn't have paid £40 for it. Um, and then I went into Primark. I have been looking for some knee-high boots. I'd, I need, I just hold one, but they're always attached. For years. They came in about two years ago, didn't they? Two autumn winters ago. And because I'm really short, I just found that they kind of sat really weird. Like they always came up way too high or they just didn't fit properly around my legs because I've got like skinnier legs. They just didn't look good. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna go into Primark and see if they've got any because I don't wanna spend a fortune on them just in case I suddenly decide, no, I don't like them. And I found these straight away. Pippa does have some, but she's a size five, so I can't borrow her shoes because I'm a size three, I have tiny feet. But anyway, these are 22 pounds from Primark. They've got a tiny little kind of heel not really. Yeah, like I said, 22 pounds. They've got the gold detailing of the zip, but the actual like, zip is on the inside. I love these so much. I'm gonna show you a little shop with them on now. They're just gonna go with everything. And I saw some outfits on Pinterest with uh, knee-high boots this morning with like little, little summer dresses with tight knee-high boots and like a thick woolly knit. And I kind of fell in love with that sort of outfit. And then I tried them on in the fitting room with 
my new Topshop jumper and they look so cute with that as well. And then lastly, super quickly before my battery actually dies, I went into NYX and I picked up a new one of their Total Control Drop Foundations. I have my last one since, when was I? house sitting june i want to say it was june i've had my last one since june and it ran out today so highly recommend 14 pounds it lasts me like three months crazy i love this you can build it up like my skin looks patchy today because i literally had like nothing left build it up wear it really lightweight it lasts all day, it doesn't like dry out on my skin. I mean, I did suffer when I first moved to London with it drying out around my nose, but that's kind of the underground, I think. And also, I work in a station, so it's like dusty and dry and horrible air, so that didn't really help. But since I've been using some face masks and stuff, it's really helped. So I picked up another one of those, and I think it's gonna become a staple foundation for me. But it's time for Grey's Anatomy chocolate and tea. And I need to sit down and just chill. <laughs> ASOS jumper is here. Yes, I have already changed. This is not the ASOS jumper. This is my super dry one. I'm so cold. I can't believe I put a roll neck on. Anyway, this is the jumper. It's very, very red. Um, I love it. I just really like it because it's different because it's got this like, I don't know, like wall pattern on it. But it's from Pretty, Pretty Little Things. I got a size small, it's perfect fit. Really long sleeves as well, which I really like. So I love rolling up sleeves. I love the detailing on the collar too. I'll show you what I'm, I really can't bother to, to change. <laughs> I really, really love it. And then the guy was like, he came back. He's like, can I leave a parcel with you for number 17? It's like, um, sure, okay. <laughs> so I've now got to wait for someone to come around and get that. That's great fun, isn't it? Hello from one of my favourite spots in the house. This is my windowsill. I like to just come and sit here and watch the world go by. Though I can't see anything now because it's dark outside. Also, it's even more my favourite space now because the radiator is just below. So the heat comes up, we've got our heating on because it's blooming freezing now. Summer has definitely gone, although the sunshine was out today. It was actually a really nice day outside today, but it's definitely chilly now. The scarf is out, the leather jacket is out. Clearly not my summer pyjamas yet, but <laughs> woolly jumpers. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a really good day, a very adulty day. Definitely have moved out now. <laughs> this is what it's like in my room, by the way, because I've got the small room when I have washing. I can't get anywhere, I have to kind of climb on my bed and just hang stuff where I can. But yeah, me and Laurel are going to watch Liar, which is a new ITV series, when, and we are big fans of ITV series, which I've learned, which is great, because now I have someone to watch them with, which is really, really good. Normally it would just be me sat on my own, in my room, on my laptop, just watching them, <laughs> with no one to talk to about them. Good morning. As I was saying yesterday, before my camera cut out, we watched Liar last night. So if any of you have been watching Liar, I'm confused. Like I don't really know what's going on. I think other people are involved. I don't know. Anyway, it's such a good series. If you're not watching it, watch it. If you like, it's not a murder mystery. It's like um, basically these two people went on a date and then the girl, accuses the guy of raping her um he's like certain that it didn't happen and she's certain that it did happen and some stuff has just come out about the girl's past and it's just all very like i don't understand there's so much going on and i just don't understand um but yeah i'm on the clothes today so i don't need to leave until 11 it's currently at 25 2 um i'm kind of ready to go so i'm gonna go have some breakfast sort some lunch out i have a training day today um i'm off into like Kings Road area for some training and then I'm on the clothes so I finish work at 9 p.m. So I get home at, at 10 and then I'm on the open tomorrow so I'm up at 5 a.m. <sighs> this is not fun. That's my life right now. I always feel really weird while I'm on the clothes because it feels like I'm leaving late for work. I don't know how echoey this house is by the way. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Um because I don't leave till 11, it feels like I'm late, but I find closes go so much slower than opens. Like if I'm up at five, like I'm up, I'm up, it's fine. I'm at work for seven, like, but I finish at four. So that day always goes so much quicker than if I'm on a close, like finishing work at 9 p.m. is hard. It's a long day, especially when you're on the open the next day as well. I'm home. 
I've actually been home for about an hour and a half. How cute is Pippa, by the way? I was in a rush this morning because I got up late. I snoozed my alarm twice. I definitely shouldn't have. So I didn't have time to make my bed when I left the house, which obviously is really not like me. Like, I always make my bed. And Pippa messaged me. She made my bed for me. She's so freaking cute. Oh, it's the little things, people, that you do for others that mean the most. And that is a fine example of that. <laughs> Uh, that really cheered me up today because I, I slept really bad last night. I just couldn't fall asleep and I just couldn't get comfortable, which is very annoying. Hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. I'm just cooking up some um, pasta. I'm having pasta for dinner because this week is the week before payday. So I am very, very poor. I have no food apart from pasta, pizza. What else have I got? Frozen veg, rice, like the basics. Um, so I'm just gonna ha and tuna. So I'm gonna have like a tuna pasta bakey type thing tonight, and then finish up the tuna in a sandwich for work tomorrow, so I don't have to buy lunch. And then I'm gonna have a shower, sort my nails out because they're a bit of a state, and have an early night because I'm so tired. I'm up again at five t uh, tomorrow. I'm on the earlies for the rest of the week. Then I'm off Saturday. <laughs> I have hiccups. Um. And on Friday night and Saturday morning, Kat is coming from, um, she's a gentry, she's coming to see me and Pippa, and I think she's staying Friday night, and we're going to take some blog photos and everything, which I'm really excited about because I haven't done that in such a long time, and I need some new photos for Instagram. So yeah, I came up here to do something. Oh yeah, get my cardigan. <laughs> Because I'm really cold. <laughs> I can't decide with the weather at the moment. It's either freezing, like this morning was freezing, so I took my winter coat to work, and then it wasn't cold on the way back, and obviously on the tube it's a bit of a nightmare because you'll be cold on your way to the tube. But once you're on the tube, no you're not. You're like sweating. Um, so it's a bit of a battle of the weathers and stuff at the minute. But... Yes. No, I'm really excited for Saturday. It should be a really, really good day and a nice night on Friday. And then I'm back at work. Oh, you're steamed up. It's my pasta. Um, I'm back at work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I am seeing a friend Thursday night, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm going home Friday because I have an eyebrow and a hair appointment. I'm seeing an old friend, which will be good. And then Saturday is Hannah's home wedding. So she got married a week ago now, two weeks, um, in Zanti. And all her photos have now gone up. And oh my goodness, I'm putting you in the cupboard, my arm makes. Is this the right height? Yay, I can do cupboard chats. Um, yeah, so it's her home wedding. On Saturday, it's going to be like a little Cambridge reunion. And I'm really excited about it because, my goodness, do I miss those girls so much. Like... I miss you girls a lot so I'm really excited to see all of them and then Sunday I'm seeing Zoe and we're gonna have a girly day on Sunday which again very excited about I do want to get a vlog up but I don't know when it will go up although I have nothing exciting happening until that weekend so I don't know how interesting the vlog will be but yeah I'm finding it really hard to kind of fit in vlogging here in London because I used to vlog at work obviously but none of the people at my new job know about my YouTube channel. Um, so it's a bit awkward to kind of vlog in the office. And also they're in and out of the office all the time. And you can hear, like it's only a really thin wall between the office and the actual store. So you can hear if someone's talking to themselves. So that would be a little bit awkward, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, I'm finding it kind of a bit hard to find the time to vlog. And then I never know what to vlog about when I do have time to vlog. And I'm just like, I need to talk to you guys, but I don't know what to talk to you about because nothing's happened. My life's very samey now, and I think a very exciting happens. Oh, shit. Who else likes really strong squash? I love squash. But I like to taste my squash. Not flavoured water. so thirsty. Mm. Some exciting stuff actually with work while we're here. So I had a meeting with my area manager, Just we're having just a chat, 
um because he's new and then obviously i'd not i missed his visit to cambridge and so we kind of caught in the middle um and he was asking like what i want to do and stuff so obviously i was like oh social media is kind of what i want to get into and stuff like that and he was like well i kind of want to start um an instagram page for our area um would you be interested in running it i was like hell yeah definitely uh so I've set up a little Instagram page all set up today for that area and I'm going to be running it. We'll see how it goes because obviously it all depends if the rest of the area kind of goes along with it because I can't just take pictures myself, like I need the help of other people to have content to put up on it. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's my first little step. Obviously it's not professional and like I'm not going to be paid for it or anything. It's like my little project so yeah we'll see how that one goes but i really yeah i should be good i'm excited about it hopefully it will be a nice little stepping stone hopefully it's successful and kind of will show what i can do sort of thing but we will see but i am yeah i'm, I'm excited as i've said a few times now i'm excited about it but i thought i would share that with you oh i'm so glad i'm vlogging again i've missed this camera i thought i'd lost it the other day when i was gonna go vlog again but then i realized it was in one of my bags because i'd taken it with me to vlog like a few weeks ago didn't vlog obviously um and then just didn't take it out of my bag and it was in my wardrobe i was like where is it but obviously i found it obviously it's gonna finish my dinner now because i'm really hungry it's much later now i've had a shower um i've cleaned my face since I've moved though, I've got so many spots, like, and they're quite big ones. I think it's because of the underground and stuff, because my skin is not used to it, but hopefully they will clear up. Also, I'm due on next week, so that is not going to help the situation. But I'm just sat here chilling, this is what I've started doing at night now, if I'm on an open. I light my candle, I only shut like one of my curtains so I can still see out, because it's quite relaxing to be able to just look out my window. I put Netflix on, or YouTube. And I just sit and chill by myself. I've been been in a really weird mood today, actually. Like, I've kind of just wanted my own company. So that's what I've done. <laughs> kind of took myself away. The girls are downstairs watching something, I think. But I've just kind of taken myself away to come and relax and chill and just have some me time. <laughs> like I said earlier, like, I slept really bad last night. So <laughs> I need to have, like, a nice early night and dewind. I'm calm because I was on um I was in the open on Tuesday the close on Tuesday rather so that means I finish at 9 p.m. and then get home at 10 and then I have to get I was on the open today so I had to be up at five in the morning which is what I do tomorrow so my next two shifts are open so I actually prefer opens I think I said this before but I much prefer an open um because once I'm up I'm up and then you can come home from work at four and I can just kind of get on with my evening and stuff before the girls get home and I can have my dinner and clean all my stuff up before they get home and just then I'm not in the way. I'm going to put some pseudocreme on my spots I think. Hopefully that will help. Hopefully. I don't know what I'm going to watch on Netflix tonight but I'm sure I will find something. But this is probably very boring footage so I will speak to you tomorrow I'm sure. Thanks. Happy Friday, excuse how I look, it's been a long day. But I got home from work, all the girls are say so it's going to be quite noisy. But I got home from work today to some flowers. Look at these. My mum has sent me some flowers from Bloom and Wild. Oh, we're all in here. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everybody. We are currently out taking some photos. It's actually really near our house, it's like literally the other side of the road. So yeah, we're just out taking some photos, but where is our photographer? I will show you the flowers that my mum got me that I was going to show you yesterday, but walked into a room full of people, which was a little bit awkward. I don't know why I felt awkward, because they all know about it, but yeah, it just felt a little bit awkward. Yeah, I really want some new Instagram photos, I've been trying to get back into my Instagram a lot more and get the quality of the pictures back up again the builders next door so Pippa is gonna help me take some photos but I'm just not sure about my outfit right now I don't know I don't know my hair's also really annoying me but that's life also this guy he owns the house we're taking pictures of in front of so yeah hello Cara's vlog <laughs> <laughs> I'm that annoying person that hijacks the vlog <laughs> good <Hijack. fun. laughs> there's a bug in my tea oh no there's not this bit of fluff <laughs> 
say, how did the bug get in there from downstairs to up here? <laughs> And Pippa in the future. I just wanted to say thank you very much for having me stay at your house. It's been really, really fun, and I hope I come again very soon. Thank you for that little clip there, Kat. <laughs> um, it's much later now. I'm actually all on my own. Everyone is out. Um, Laura has gone to London Fashion Week because she was bought tickets for her birthday, which I'm very jealous of. Pippa's out for dinner, and Becca has gone shopping, I think. Well, I don't know what time she's back or when she's back or whatever. So I'm on my own now. As you see, I have had an outfit change. You can see in the mirror. So we were filming a little outfit video on my windowsill, which is actually going to go up at 6 p.m. I want to maybe, I don't know if to say this because then you're going to expect it, but maybe do something like that not every week but every so often so do like behind the scenes of when we're taking pictures and stuff and then film a little really short video because I don't know about you but if I watch an outfit video I like it to be really like snappy and short and to the point and that's kind of what this one is and um, it's of this outfit so you can find out where everything is from and stuff and have closer looks and yeah so watch out for that at 6 p.m that is going up today at 6 p.m but right now I'm gonna go get comfortable downstairs put a pizza in because I'm very hungry and I really do fancy pizza it's not very often I eat pizza but I really fancy pizza today and finish editing the weekly vlog although I, ha although, um, I haven't got a lot to edit because I edited most of it on Thursday night which is good that means I can just have a chill out evening which is nice and upload and just prepare although apparently you have to pay for pick monkey now um, which is what I did my thumbnails on so I'm not sure where I'm gonna make my thumbnail now <laughs> need to find another website if anyone knows another website that'd be fabulous I'm gonna show you the flowers that my mum got me these are the pretty flowers there's like roses in there I don't know what any other of these flowers are called but such a pretty little bouquet and then it came with this little card that just says just to put a smile on your face mum because she's freaking adorable isn't she she's just cute so it's just sat on my windowsill looking all lovely looking all lovely right i need to tidy this mess up because i can't cope i can't cope with it peeps it needs to be tidied pizza is in the oven i've cleaned out the kitchen i've done some washing up i love our little fairy lights they're so cute aren't they I'm still obsessed with the fireplace looking amazing right now yeah best outfit I've worn all day I think. I should have taken photos of this one. I've got the Sukomi Jolies on. And I think I'm gonna have a cup of tea with my pizza. <laughs> Is that a weird combination? It's so nearly done. It's got like a minute or so left. And I think I'm gonna put extra cheese on it. Feeling rebellious today. Extra cheese. What else is that? I was gonna tell you something else. That's why I started filming but I can't remember what I was gonna tell you. I don't know. I need to plug my laptop in or it's gonna die. Let's do that now, shall we? I know what I was gonna tell you. I was gonna show you this. Look how cute Kat is. She came in and she gave us a little a little love fern, but I've called it a love lily. Um, and she's been named Audrey. All of the plants in the house are Audrey. Um, this one here is called Betty. This is Pippa's baby. She loves Betty. Um, she has survived many times when we thought she was dying. Uh, but now we have a little love fern too. Cute. Also, this flower, this one, fell off my bouquet when I was like sorting it out I pulled it out of the box literally went look and it broke <laughs> like straight away so she is uh, on her own looking pretty <laughs> and the vlog is edited and ready to go apart from this clip obviously like the same of every week I always end the vlog after I've finished editing it I don't know why I just feel like I can't complete until it's ready to go it's probably a really weird thing but I've always been like that but I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Sorry I took such a big gap, but as I explained before, like I just really needed to settle into my new life and sort myself out and just get sorted before I started vlogging again. But I've really enjoyed vlogging this week. I have forgotten to vlog a few times, so obviously I didn't vlog Thursday, didn't really vlog Friday, but I'm getting there. I'm gonna get back into the swing of it, keep my camera with me, pick it up when I can, and I'm gonna try and 
and vlog like outside and stuff because I've realised that the whole of my vlog footage apart from one clip this week is inside these four walls. So I do leave the house, I promise. I do have a social life, just apparently not on camera. <laughs> uh, but I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for coming back and watching and sticking by me. If you are one of the people that has sent me a message over the last five weeks, I think it's been, thank you so much. Like it's quite heartwarming to know that people miss the videos and want to know what's going on in my life, want to know that I'm okay, all of that jazz. So thank you so much if you have sent me a, vi a video, no, if you sent me a message um, or a tweet or whatever over the last few weeks, just asking how I am and saying that you want a vlog and you miss it. Well, here you go, here, here is a vlog, um, I am back and yeah. If you're new and you haven't missed my vlogs at all, uh, make sure you subscribe and then you won't miss any more vlogs. Because it's been so long as well, make sure that you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you have been up to. How did you spend your August and your September? How did you spend your summer, basically? Let me know in the comments below. Where did you go on holiday? Who did you go on holiday with? Did you have any dramas? Let me know. I want to know what's going on in your lives. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.